welcome to the quiz with me, Neil King. Uh, last week we did a quiz and he told us that he thought things maybe were a little bit too difficult with that quiz. So we've tried to turn it down a little bit, tried to make it a little bit easier this time. If it's still too hard, let us know, we'll try again. It's the usual format. We have eight rounds of questions, some specialist, some general knowledge, about five or six questions a round. So let's get started with round one. Round one is a general knowledge round. So, first question this week. The song Big Spender is from which musical? So the song Big Spender is from which musical? Question two. Which animal's home is a lodge? So, which animal's home is a lodge? Question three, who painted the potato eaters? So who painted the potato eaters? Question four, in which British city is Barlini prison? So in which British city is Barlini prison? And the final question in the first general knowledge round is, who owned the yacht named after his daughter called the Lady Gislaine. So who owned a yacht named after his daughter called the Lady Gislaine? And Gislaine is spelt G-H-I-S-L-A-I-N-E. And on to round two. So round two is a specialist round and the specialist subject for this one is the human body. So question one in this round is what is the anatomical term for the chest? So what is the anatomical term 
for the chest. Question two, where are the carotid arteries to be found? So where are the carotid arteries to be found? Question three, collagen is the main constituent of what parts of the body? So collagen is the main constituent of what parts of the body? Question four, where in the body are the olfactory lobes? So where in the body are the olfactory lobes? And olfactory spelt O-L-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y. So where in the body are the olfactory lobes? And the final question in this round. An ectomorph body structure is tall and thin. An endomorph, short and stocky or fat. What term describes a muscular physique? So, an ectomorph body structure is tall and thin, an endomorph, short and stocky or fat. So, what term describes a muscular physique? And on to round two. So round two is a specialist round and the specialist subject for this one is the human body. So question one in this round is, what is the anatomical term for the chest? So what is the anatomical term for the chest? Question two, where are the carotid arteries to be found? So, where are the carotid arteries to be found? Question three. Collagen is the main constituent of what parts of the body? So, collagen is the main constituent of what parts of the body? Question four. Where in the body are the olfactory lobes? So where in the body are the olfactory lobes? And olfactory spelt O-L-F-A-C-T-O-R-Y. So where in the body are the olfactory lobes? And the final question in this round. An ectomorph body structure is tall and thin. An endomorph, short and stocky or fat. What term describes a muscular physique? So, an ectomorph body structure is tall and thin, an endomorph, short and stocky or fat. So what term describes a muscular physique?
So, on to round three. This is a general knowledge uh, round. So, first question is, Polly put the kettle on, but who took it off? Polly put the kettle on, but who took it off? Question two, which ex-footballer was named Psycho? So which ex-footballer was nicknamed actually Psycho? Question three, in which TV sitcom did Timothy West play Bradley Hardacre? So in which TV sitcom did Timothy West play Bradley Hardacre? Question four, which fruit squash has a brand name which is Maori for good health? So which fruit squash has a brand name which is Maori for good health? Question five, the fur of which creature is known as Coney? That's C-O-N-E-Y. So the fur of which creature is known as Coney? And question six, in computing, what is the word bit short for? So in computing, what is the word bit short for? Okay, your next round is a specialist subject of television. So question one in the television round is, what is off Fred's real first name in The Handmaid's Tale? So what is off Fred's real first name in The Handmaid's Tale? Question two, who played sister in charge Julienne in Call the Midwife? Who played sister in charge Julienne in Call the Midwife? Question three Who is the male presenter of Long Lost Family? So, who is the male presenter of Long Lost Family? Cassie Stewart and Sunil Sunny Khan are the leading characters in which hit TV drama. So, question four. Cassie Stewart and Sunil Sunny Khan are the leading characters in which hit TV ITV drama. And the final question in this round is The Mammy was the title of the first ever episode of which comedy show? The Mammy was the title of the first ever episode of which comedy show? Okay, 
round five. Uh, round five again is a specialist uh, round and the specialist subject for this round is American literature. So question one on American literature, who wrote The Prince and the Pauper? Who wrote The Prince and the Pauper? Question two, who is the hero of J.D. Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye? Who is the hero of J.D. Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye? Question three, which famous book is narrated by a character called Ishmael? So which famous book is narrated by a character called Ishmael? Question four, in Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, which letter is heroine Hester Prine forced to wear on her dress by the Puritan community? That's quite hard. In Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, which letter is heroine Hester Prine forced to wear on her dress by the Puritan community? Question five, which writer created the fantasist Walter Mitty? Okay, on to round six. Uh, especially subject here, very simple one for you all, is currencies. So, all we want to know is, what is the chief currency of the following countries? So, what is the chief currency of, number one, Austria. So, what is the chief currency of Austria? Number two, what is the currency of Albania? So what's the currency of Albania? What is the currency of number three, Poland? So we need to know what currency it is for Poland. 
Question four, what is the main currency of Brazil? So what is the main currency of Brazil? And what is the chief currency of Pakistan? So question five, what is the chief currency of Pakistan? On to now round seven and round seven is a specialist subject of music so it's music mix so question one in the music round the british act books fizz won the european song contest with which song so the british act books fizz won the european song contest with which song question two in the opera how is Cho Cho San better known? So in the opera, sorry, in opera, how is Cho Cho San better known? I will spell that for you because the pronunciation is different. It's spelled C-I-O-C-I-O-S-A-N, but it's pronounced apparently Cho Cho San. So in opera, how is Cho Cho San better known? Who sang, so this is question three, who sang Memo to Turner in the film performance? So who sang a memo to Turner in the film performance? Question four. Which Gilbert and Sullivan operetta has a chorus of professional bridesmaids? So which Gilbert and Sullivan operetta has a chorus of professional bridesmaids? And the final question in the music round. Which band recorded Highway to Hell, Back in Black, and whole lot of Rosie. So which band recorded Highway to Hell, Back in Black and whole lot of Rosie? Okay, on to round eight. This is the final round. It's a general knowledge round. So, question one. Which is missing from the set? Pall Mall, Whitehall. So what's missing from the set? Pall Mall, Whitehall. Question two. In World War I, what was the largest naval battle? So in World War I, what was the largest naval battle? Question three. Which county cricket badge features three pairs? So which county cricket badge features three pairs? Question four. Which perfume house produces June and poison? So which perfume house? Perfume House produces June 
and poison. And the last question this week. Complete the proverb. Necessity is the mother of... So complete the proverb. Necessity is the mother of... Back in a moment with all the answers for you. Okay, on to the answers. So, going through them, uh, round one was a general knowledge round. The song Big Spender is from which musical? That was Sweet Charity. Question two, which animal's home is a lodge? That would be a beaver. Question three, who painted the potato eaters? That was Vincent van Gogh. Or van Gogh even. Question four, in which British city is Barlini Prison? That's Glasgow. And question five. Who on the yacht named after his daughter called the Lady Ghislaine? That was Robert Maxwell. Round two, uh, special subject was the human body. So what is the anatomical term for the chest? That's the thorax. Where are the carotid arteries to be found? They're in the neck. Collagen is the main constituent of what parts of the body? That would be your bones. Where in the body are the olfactory lobes? They're in the nose. And question five. An ectomorph body structure is tall and thin. An endomorph short or stocky or fat. What term describes a muscular physique? That's a mesomorph. A mesomorph, I should say. Sorry, a mesomorph. That's because I've not got the muscular body. So, on to round three. Uh, that was a general knowledge round. So, the question one was, Polly put the kettle on. Who took it off? That was Suki. Which ex-footballer was nicknamed Psycho? That was Stuart Pearce. In which TV sitcom did Timothy West play Bradley Hardacre? That was Brass. Question four. Which fruit squash has a brand name which is Maori for good health? That's Kia Ora. The fur of which creature is known as Coney? That's a rabbit. And in computing, what is the word bit short for? That's binary digit. So on to round four, uh, especially subject was television. So question one, what is Offred's real first name in The Handmaid's Tale? That's June. Who played sister in charge Julie N in Call the Midwife? That's Jenny Agatha. Who is the male presenter of Long Lost Family? That was Nicky Campbell. Question four, Cassie Stewart and Sunil Sunny Khan are the leading characters in which TV drama? That's Unforgotten. And the final uh, question in the television round was, The Mammy was the title of the first ever episode of which comedy show? That was Mrs Brown's Boys. Then we went on to round five. And the specialist subject for that was American literature. So question one in that, who wrote The Prince and the Pauper? That was Mark Twain. Question two, who is the hero of J.G. Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye? That's Holden Caulfield. 
which famous book is narrated by a character called Ishmael, that's Moby Dick. In Nigel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, which letter is heroine Hester Prime forced to wear on her dress by the Puritan community? It's the letter A for adulteress. And which writer created the fantasist Walter Mitty? That was James Thurber. Then on to round six, which was the currency round. So first question was, what was the currency of Austria, which is the euro? The currency of Albania is the lek, spelt L-E-K. The currency of Poland is the zloty. The currency of Brazil is the real. And the currency of Pakistan is the rupee. So, on to round seven's answers. Uh, round seven was a music mix. Question one, the British act Box Fizz won the European Song Contest with which song? That was Making Your Mind Up. How is the opera Jojo San better known? That's Madame Butterfly. Who sang Memo to Turner in the film performance? That was Mick Jagger. Which Gilbert and Sullivan operetta has a chorus of professional bridesmaids? That's Rudigar. And I got that one wrong. Question five. Which band recorded Highway to Hell, Back in Black and Whole Lotta Rosie? That was the fabulous ACDC. And this week's final round. A general knowledge round. Which is missing from the following set? Pall Mall, Whitehall. The third one is Northumberland Avenue, obviously streets on the Monopoly board. In World War I, what was the largest naval battle? That was the Battle of Jutland. Question three, which county cricket badge features three pairs? That's Worcester. Question four, which perfume house produces June and Poison? And Christian Dior. And the final question this week. Complete the proverb, necessity is the mother of invention. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the quiz. Love your feedback. Um, as I said, we're trying to make these as accessible as possible. We realise the first one was a bit difficult. We think this one's a little bit easier. If we need to do it some more, please let us know. Get in touch with us. So thanks for listening. Thanks for taking part. And we'll see you next week. Look after yourselves. Bye.